Alrighty, good morning everyone. Uh, it is extremely early in the morning. Um, but yeah, I'm up, so might as well make a video, right? Anyways, in the last video, uh, we went and grabbed the other pirate station, and we now have both stationed near my uh, exit of the Earth-like gravity. So we have a little bit of extra protection here, which is nice. And another good thing is that uh, most of the blocks on these things are heavy armor, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be is gonna be cool. All right, so I suppose at this point. Um, I have to get myself aligned with that. And I'm trying to use as little fuel as possible. I know that the fuel on here lasts a very long time, but even with that, I still want to be a little careful, so. And then I suppose as long as I'm here and I'm going to have a, a reasonably long descent, um, I could set up the thrusters, potentially, uh, to do the, uh, the more efficient way of doing this whole thing, I guess. But I mean, going down is easy. You just turn off the, th turn off the dampeners and when you get close, you turn them back on. But, uh, Leaving is the thing that takes up the uh, the most amount of effort. So, and let's get ourselves somewhat aligned. Let's see. Get the world somewhat centered in here. I think that'll work. No, we're kind of facing the wrong direction here. Okay, so we are just about to enter gravity. So I'm gonna stop it right here. Make sure that I am at least somewhat straight. I still feel like I should fall. Well, if that's where the boulder is. The lake is probably over here because I'm going to go down to the lake and see if I can fill up that way. Um, I'm going to have to put in a new connector system down there, but I think that should be fine. And then are we somewhat centered on here? A little, oh, a little too much. I think that's good. Okay, so now we turn the dampeners off and we drop down into gravity. And now we wait. But yeah, it's my little wedge. Has uh, yeah. So right behind that large thruster is the uh, the large hydrogen tank, and everything else is just kind of in there. So I feel like I have to sneeze. Hold on. Okay, that was awkward. Um, and that asteroid right there, right by the foot, right? That one is most definitely in gravity, and so is that one, it looks like. It might be interesting to create like little bases on there. So that might be something that I want to investigate. Hmm. Looks like there's a bunch of asteroids in gravity. Huh. I wonder if any of those have any like rare materials cuz that would be that would be cool. So we are roughly dropping down where we need to drop, I think. And we're picking up speed as well. But 
But yeah, uh, it's going to be pretty uneventful, so I think I'm just going to pause, and uh, I'll come back when we're closer. And just a quick update, nothing has changed. So, fun times. Oh, I uh, also updated my graphics driver. Um, it wasn't actually that much out of date. I think I got the one from April of this year. So, I mean, it's it's October now, so I suppose that was kind of overdue, about six months overdue. Anyways, um, something I noticed is that, so NVIDIA, because I have NVIDIA graphics drivers, um, they have two different versions of graphics devices or drivers out there. And the thing is, unless you know about those things, I mean, like, they're only going to give you one version if you go to, like, the normal download, driver download thing. So what they will normally give you is the DCH type drivers. And given certain other activities that I do on some of my other computers, um, I do not want those because they have a memory leak problem, and so they end up using more power than they're supposed to. Um, and so they have the standard versions, which are non-DCH. And then what happened before, back in April and, you know, for a little bit before then, is that they offered the versions at the same time, right? So, like, if you, if, let's say the most advanced version right now is 493.12. So you could normally take that link that goes to download it or whatever, and then you modify it slightly. And then it'll take you to the non-DCH driver, and then you can download that, right? Well, I found out today that the non-DCH driver is actually not um, as updated as the new one. So what they have for the DCH drivers is 493. And then what I had to get, which was the most updated standard version, was 473. So I'm not sure if that's going to make any kind of a difference. But um, it does seem like I'm not getting those weird, awkward pauses anymore. Um, but, I mean, I've only been playing for like 10 minutes so i don't actually know but yeah i don't know wait no there's a slight awkward pause very very slight though only about a quarter of a second whereas other times it's like multiple seconds okay so we are getting very close to the ground now and i'm going to turn the dampeners on soon I mean, it should stop me pretty quickly, so I'm not really too worried about it. Yeah, that's going to stop me very quickly. And there is my bridge up there, well defended with the shields. Quite happy about that. All right, and now we need to go down there. And hopefully, is that a light down there? Or is that just the sun doing weird things with the lighting? I think it's just the sun doing weird things with the lighting. We are like <laughs> pointed just about straight down and we are still able to slow ourselves down, which is amazing. And then, uh, like I said, I am probably going to have to hook up um, some sort of a connector in here. So I might do it like off on the side. All right. Now we can drop down. And then get some ice. And then uh, odds are a lot of the wheels are going to be gone on this thing because that's just what they do, apparently. Actually, can I sit this thing on... And uh, no, I'll just set it on the ground, I think. Ooh, that was a hard hit. Okay. And yeah, so we're locked, so we should be good to go. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like I actually took a little bit of damage. Uh, not too much, though. All right. So, let me see... Wow, we are missing a lot of wheels. Holy...
Holy crap. Okay. But that's fine. We, we can fix this. Okay, so do we have any ice in here currently? Nope. I mean, we're getting a lot of power, so that's good. Um, one thing I might do, though, is there should be a connector on here. And then I'm going to put in a button panel, if I can, if it'll let me, that is. And it will not, because I need interior plates. OK. Uh, stairs, stairs, ladder, there we go. Actually, now that I think about it, as long as that pipeline is connected, then I'm also connected to the hydrogen storage on the base of the mountain base. So maybe that won't be actually so bad of a thing. Um, okay, so I can build off of this and go out to the side, I think. Or do I want to bring that up some? Probably want to bring that up a little bit. Or I could extend something in here, maybe. Yeah, if I did this one, it would cut off the ladder here, so I can't go off of that. Unless I like wrapped it around and then went out, which would be kind of weird. I could make this look interesting, though. Potentially. So I need plate. Grab a few of these, grab a few of those. OK. So when I say that I could make this interesting, I do mean interesting. Um, okay, so I need, I already have all that. I need to change, no, this into this. Okay. Good. So what I can, what I'm thinking about doing here is just kind of building out. If I can, if it'll let me. out. Good. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then we'll jump over this guy to put this here. Because I want this thing to stick off the ground and I also need to make room for all of that. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six blocks out from anything else. And this is like three. <laughs> um, OK, so I might need to go with the two by ones instead of the 45s. So let me just take that off real quick. All right, so let's try this again. All right, two by one tip, and then we need this to go there. And then we need that to go there. And then we'll get this one to go here. Yeah, so I think that'll work. Um, and then I need get at that bottom one, unless that's not going to let me. Um, I wish there were there was like a way that you could kind of like wrap around something, you know? So like you put this on the edge and then it just automatically places the block kind of continuing out. 
but I don't think we're going to get to that. So, I have to make myself something to walk on. That'll work. Okay, and then we will extend this out again. extend off of here but I also need to bring this kind of up and then along so I can make the connection um, okay so we need to go it's six right yeah six and right now we're at four and then if we include that as an extra empty block then we still need to go up one more um, so regardless we have to put this in here see if it'll let me reach out that far. Yes, good. Okay, so that's that. And then we can go here. I think that will work for that. And then, uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Okay, so we are still getting those weird pauses, so it wasn't the driver. Still not sure what it is. Maybe someone is spying on my computer. But then again, I've got some pretty decent antivirus stuff, so I would think that it would catch it, but who knows. Um, okay, so we need to go into, do I have, I do not, I have this thing. That looks weird though. Should I use it? It looks weird. But I'll use it, I suppose. Okay, and then we need to go into conveyor pipe, and then I think we need to go up one more. Or, wait, wait, no, 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 that's where we need to put in the curve, I think. Mm. Mm. Huh. So I want to put like a connector type thing from over here to here, but I don't know if I want to do it with solid blocks or if I want to do it with something else. Hmm. Um, I could go for something a little more, uh, what's the word, decorative, I suppose. But then again, that would look weird right there and it would have to be at the same level as this. But I don't, I can't actually grab on right there. Why not? What, you can't place right there? Well, that's dumb. OK, 
Okay. So if you want to be dumb, then we will be dumb. So we'll do it like that. And that should get us even with the top here. Yep, okay. And then we will put in our curve pieces here. And extend this out. And then we'll go out. Do we want to go out to here? Yeah, I think we can go out to there. And then throw in the connector here. And then we're gonna have to figure out some way to walk out this way. And then as far as connecting this and that together, uh, first, um, actually I wanna do a rounded block. So we'll do that there. Of course, if I'm gonna do that, then I should probably put this horizontally, not vertically. So let's get rid of this. Okay, so now it'll attach here, whereas before it wasn't doing that. So, okay. And then I need to get out over the edge here. <laughs> Good luck, right? Um, I could always build that from there. Okay, and then uh, as far as this part goes, we are going to go into the Sparks of the Future block and we're gonna grab some of these things. And we're gonna color them black. And then we'll go that way with them. And then we'll use these guys. And then we will put in the block end, or do we want to do this one? And we'll do this one. It's gonna like go over to the edge though, so maybe I go with these instead. Just have them kinda just grab on, I suppose. See, so now it looks like I've got like cables that are actually kind of holding this thing up. Okay. And then, since the door is going to be over on that side, unless I change this around, and like another thing is I can just walk down here if I need to. I wish I had like railings that I could put on here because that would probably work a little better, but um, I think this will work. Hmm. And if I rotate this, that way I'm connecting on the other way or on the other side, then the door there would actually line up here. And with that being the case, it might actually be a good idea to put in a nice solid block in here. And also not black though. Something like that. So 
so I can just kind of like walk out here. And then I'm going to have to walk around these, but I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. All right, so now for the hard thing. I have to get into that door on very, 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 very little jetpack fuel. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over to the wing, then have that reset. Okay. Haha, got it. Okay, good to go. All right, so if I unlock both of these and I rotate myself around, this actually works out a little bit better, I think. Oh, you locked again? Stop locking, sir. Okay. And now we need to back up a little bit, go over here a little bit, angle it down a little bit, go up a little bit. Ooh, what am I hitting? I'm hitting something. Okay, so that is gonna lock me in. So we'll call that good. And we are at 11% hydrogen. Okay, so we are now connected. So now, once we walk out here, we can walk directly out here. Nice. Okay, and then we can directly refuel the ship from here, which is good. And then I've got a decent amount of, <laughs> I've got exactly as much separation as what I need right here. So that's interesting. Okay, so now I have to fix the wheels. Um, and that is not gonna be easy. That is not gonna be easy at all, I don't think. Can I add a wheel? Is it gonna let me add a wheel? No, and because that block is in the way. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. And it's not gonna let me place that wheel because that's in the way. So this whole like destroying of the wheels thing is like overrated and it needs to end. It's very annoying. Okay, so now we can add this wheel at least. But now that we've added that wheel, I don't think it's gonna let me put the girder back down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Okay. Um, we have one wheel on this side. Uh, this is not good. I mean, the only way that I could think to fix this is to put a control panel on the end of every single wheel which would be kind of ridiculous, but it would probably work. And then I need to make sure that this is connected through, which it seems like it is. Um, also, I'm gonna see if I can give myself a little extra something for connections. That way in the future, I can take these things out without actually, you know, breaking anything. So I can see that I've got them on the bottom here, but I know that they don't go out very far. So you can see that it ends kind of there and then it continues out again. But over on this side, they end here. So that is something that I'm gonna have to fix. Can I get to that point? Will it let me? Yes, it will. 
Okay. So if I can at least get some of this under here, then the wheels will have something to rest on and they might be able to bump themselves up back on top of here. So I'm hoping that works. And then I probably will end up putting in control panels on all of these wheels. Okay, so now let me hop up here. And then we'll put more of these up here so that we can keep some semblance of stability, I guess. And those wheels are missing too, Jesus. Okay. Um, well, I suppose all we can do now is start taking out the beams. And then add a wheel, add a wheel, and add a wheel. You don't want to place a wheel. Why? Because that's in the way. You're dumb. Okay. Let's put this back. Okay. And then I suppose I could technically get rid of all of these as well. At least get all the wheels on here. Uh, okay, so that'll go there, that'll go there, that will go there. And then I want to get down in there, but I know that it's not going to let me, at least not very easily. And there's that freeze again. So it's still freezing, so I'm not sure what that is. But it seems to take place when I'm doing other graphically intensive things too. So like I've got a like a little CAD program that I use for things, um, and it'll freeze on there too. So I'm not really sure what that's about. And let's add in all of these wheels. Are you gonna let me add a wheel here? Yes, good, good. Wheel could not be placed. I'll find it. Okay. Then can we add this wheel? Yes, we can. All right. So I need to get down in there, right? You would think it would be just as easy as walking off of this thing, but I think as soon as I step here, it's actually an empty spot. Like this doesn't technically physically exist. Like you can see it there, but it isn't like a physical thing that you can step on. Um, and then also the wheel is going to probably stop me as well. So if I jump, yeah, kind of what I thought was going to happen. If I go this way, okay. And now if I break this down, okay. Now, question is, is this going to let me put the control panels on here? And I have no idea how far I built that. Eesh. Okay, so control panel. Unable to place control panel. Why? I can't place anything here. Okay, what if I got rid of this block? Would you let me place it then? No. 
So this isn't letting me put anything on there, even though I thought that you could build things on the wheels. Okay, I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. So we'll throw that back. Um, I have no idea how well this is even gonna work. So, uh, wish me luck, I guess. But I've got all the wheels back on here, so if I can just pull this off, um, we'll be good to go. And then, oh, whoops. There we go. Fuel low. Okay. So before I even do anything here, save the game. In case for whatever reason this thing drops straight to the ice, um, which it shouldn't, because the wheels do technically have something to grab onto. Okay. That's good. Of course, not letting us move forward is not great. I have zero power to the wheels. Do I have the parking? No, there is no parking brake. Okay. So I should... I don't know what's going on with the wheels here. So they're spinning by themselves for some reason. Um, can I reach that? Yeah, see, they're all spinning, and I don't know why. Ooh, is that hanging off the side? It is, but not in a bad way, necessarily. Okay. Okay. Really? And I still have trying to lock up right now so I need you to go forward and you're not going forward okay so something is going on with the wheels uh, steering propulsion brakes steering angle propulsion oh that's why see that's at a negative zero percent it needs to be at a positive zero percent then it'll actually drive and why is it going backwards. No, I want to go... What? Okay. So, the wheels on the left side... for some reason are spinning backwards. Wait, wait, why do I have more little... What is going on? <sighs> I have seven left wheels. Oh wait, no, these are one by one wheels, okay. Seven left wheels, seven right wheels. 
Do I need to like reverse or invert the steering? Invert. Okay. Maybe that's why. Uh, I don't know. Okay, now we're actually moving forward. And they don't want to move forward. For why? There we go. Okay. So now it's like we're not getting enough grip or enough power. I need you to go forward. No, I need you to go forward, forward, forward. It's like it's just not even moving. Dude, what are you what are you doing right now? So if we, if we reduce this down to about 15%, then is that going to help anything? No. It's like we are stuck, like all the way stuck. I can't move forward. I can't move back. It's like we're freaking wedged in somewhere. <sighs> is it those front corners? Do I need to add more power to the wheels to get more traction to pull myself out of here? Um, let's go with 100% friction. Yeah, it's not letting me move anything right now. Okay, so what gives right now, sir? What do you, what, what is going on? Okay, seriously? This is not supposed to be like this. It's just supposed to work. Okay, so what I'm thinking the issue is, is that these things are wedged in between these blocks. So if I get rid of this thing, it should free the ship. And then if I can get this to go in there on either direction or something, then maybe that'll work. Okay, so now we can move. But I need more power to the gyroscopes because I have to be able to lift up this thing. So, uh, I have a ton of gyroscopes. Are they all on? Gyro, gyro, gyro. On, on, on. Okay, so they're all on, they're all at 100%. Okay, and then that one went in there as it was supposed to. Okay. And we're just trying to get all of our wheels in here. And then we also have to worry about our alignment. So with that, I believe, can I not see from this side? Yeah, we're good to go, okay. So now we can take our alignment wheels and put the power back up to 75% or strength anyways. 
That'll keep us nice and centered in here. And now I need to replace things. Okay, so let's go back to the beams. Do you not like that side? There we go. Okay. And then we'll back up a little bit. Okay. And we'll put down some more beams. Okay, sir. Why are you being dumb? Stop being dumb. Okay, back up a little bit more. Okay, and then more beams. Will you let me get in there? Yes, you will. Okay, good to go. All right, so we are back in business. Um, we don't have control panels on the wheels, though, so they will break again. Um, but at least now we are connected. So uh, let me just reconnect on to here. Good to go. OK. And then we will spin this whole thing. And you should not be on at all, sir. Hang on. Is it because of that? Yeah. OK. So we don't want to be burning hydrogen. So I'm going to go and turn off the thrusters on the wedge. You don't mind, sir. Uh, this way. Just turn those off. Okay, good to go. And I th think, yeah, the uh, tanks are full, so there's nothing to depressurize into. So that's why that wasn't doing anything. Um, right. So spinning this, spinning the drill. All right. So we are out that way. And we want this to go. Oh, right. Uh, unlock. There we go. OK, let's try this again. Apparently I'm thirsty. Okay, so that's good there. We will lock everything back down and then see what I can do about some water. Do I have anything? Um, I thought I had the daily needs stuff here. Do I not? Because that's going to be super awkward. Especially since I'm taking damage. Um, well...
I suppose I can build something temporarily, right? Water recycler. I need a girder. Okay. That's cool. I'll just, you know, sit here, take damage while I wait. It's all good. All good. If you don't mind, thank you. Okay. Um, we'll put some of that in here. We'll take some of that out. Okay, so uh, I suppose that's that. Um, fun times, I guess, maybe, I don't know. And we will regenerate ourselves. We're at 51 minutes already? Wow. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we have officially um, repaired our little gondola. And now we can go and get some ice. And then I'm kind of, I kind of want to replace these with like tier three containers. Because then I'll be able to carry more ice. Or tier four containers if I could do it. I don't know if I can though. Um, okay, so large cargo, but I need the tier to stuff. Yeah, a large cargo container tier four for both requires tier four motors forty five. Um, what do we need to make tier four motors? Tier three. Oh, I can only do tier three on here. Okay. Um, that just requires cobalt, so I should be able to make these. I would think. already have some that would be cool I have a hundred that's nice um, yeah so let's do that hopefully nothing falls off here ooh ooh if I replace this one this whole thing's gonna fall off wait no it won't no it won't because it's connected there okay good Oh no, it's not connected there. It's not connected there. Why are you not connected there? <sighs> what the hell, man? Dude. That's not even cool. <sighs> so dumb. It's so dumb. Why? Okay, so apparently conveyor frames do not allow you to attach on the sides. Even though it looks like they do, they don't. Okay, so instead of a conveyor frame then, and this little, oh no, what the, stop with the things, what are you doing? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. It's just being difficult. And I need a girder to build that. Don't I already have girders? Okay, 
So that's there. This is supposed to have something that can actually connect on the edges. So I'm wondering if I put another build and repair unit, will that fit? Yes. Okay, so then I should have done that to begin with. Because that actually holds, whereas the... Uh, see, like, I've got a build and repair there. I don't have one there. And then I have a frame there. Okay. So, container, tier 3, large. And then I need to make sure that that is the correct way. How is that set up? Okay, little connector on the side, large connectors, front, back, up, and down. Okay. Uh, so that needs to rotate like that. Yes, okay. And then we'll get rid of this. Hopefully that doesn't break anything. It shouldn't. Okay. And then we'll put another little freeze again. Okay, so that can go there. Then we'll get rid of this one. Ooh, lots of parts. Okay, and then that can go there. Okay. And now I have to rebuild the entire front of this thing, which is not fun. I don't even remember how I had it built. But hopefully the little piece is still there. Yes. I lost another gyro there. Okay. So... Okay, can I reach up there? That is the question. I seriously doubt it. Actually, I need... Yeah, no, I didn't think I could reach that anyways. Um, okay. And I don't have a little platform ship to go out there and build it. So that makes things a bit more interesting. So I'm hoping that I can reach it from down in here. OK, I can reach that one at least. I don't know about reaching anything below. Well, actually, I might be able to get below that from the gondola itself. Or gondola. Is it gondola or gondola? I think it's gondola. Okay. And then we can take this thing. Put that there. I think that's the correct way. I believe. That's not going to let me reach over there, is it? It would be nice if you would. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So that gets us there. And now we can go back down to the bottom. And we should be able to reach from here. Okay. So then we need this thing here. But it needs to be like that. OK. And then from here, little corner space, and that. Uh, OK, so let's grab these things. And then we need this thing. And then to do the same thing over here. Okay. 
and then it's one, two, three pistons. goes down into the first drills directly and then the drills next to it are spaced by a single block. Okay, so why is it Okay. And then how many drills do I have here? Six? I think it's six. Two, three, four, five, six, yes. So we're still getting the little freezes. Um, so I'm not, I, I still don't know what it is. They're annoying though. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the game. It might be the game, it might not be the game. I don't know. I wonder why it's not like completely taking these things down. Oh, it was that. And because that is designed to, gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha, I know what's going on. So the wedge is the thing that's pulling out all of those parts. And uh, what I need is for this thing, so if we go into the K menu, build and repair system. So this one, if we put this in here as fly mode, it should, should, uh, get everything else kind of doing its thing. Okay, so that should be taken apart those the rest of the way, I would think. If that's the right one. No, I need the build and repair unit, sir. Two. Oh, that one's not even on. Okay. Yeah, I think that's doing. Yeah, okay. Good, good. We are making progress. Very, very slowly. But progress is being made. And we are at an hour for the video. There's, there's really not much more to do here though, so. Those are tier three drills. Oh, I should probably grab some of those alloy plates, honestly. Um, yeah, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Probably I'm gonna need those, but... All right, so I'm gonna see if I can grab... So that should have given me some alloy plates, which I'm going to need to rebuild the drills. All right, and these things don't need. I like how they just like fall through the world.
Okay, so now we go with the drills, tier three, because that's all I can handle right now. And then we go down like this, and we go like that. Oh, those aren't going to join together, are they? Um, okay. So I'm going to need to put in a merge block on here, in here, somewhere, somehow. Of course, it's not going to let me place it there. But I can put a block there, maybe? So let me see if I can get this to work. And I know that we are like way over our time, but I just want to kind of get this thing fixed first. Okay, so if we do this one on that one, and then we do this one on that one, they should technically lock up. Um, so then if we... There we go, and they're not locked. Okay, easy enough. Um, so now I can get rid of this upper block, if it will let me. Okay, because these are still connected through this block. Um, so then I can go... Oh, these come in small grid too? Ooh. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I mean, not that I need them in there like that, but the fact that they're there is cool. Okay, and then we put in another drill here and another drill here. Then we do another block here, and another block here, and then we do a drill here, and then we do a drill here. Okay, and we are set back up. And then uh, we have larger containers in there, so we should be able to carry more ice, which is good, because we're going to need it. And then once those are all done, uh, we're good to go. So uh, here we are. We have made a new connection on the drill rig here. We have fixed the gondola uh, and all of its wheels. Uh, we upgraded all of our containers on here, and then we also redid the drill platform, even though that wasn't intended. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we made some good progress. So in the next one, um, we're going to go get ourselves a bunch of ice, and then start filling up that guy, because, you know, reasons. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. And then eventually, I'm going to go back to the bridge, which is way up there. It looks so far away from here. <laughs> oh my god. We have such a long way to go. But, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll figure something out. <sighs> okay. All right. So yeah, that's all I have for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, be sure to uh, stay tuned for the next one when we are going to go and get ourselves some more ice. So hope you guys have fun and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.